वेलकम बेटा सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ चैप्टर नंबर 4 दैट इज शॉर्टिंग मटेरियल्स इनटू ग्रुप्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सी दैट व्हाट इज दिस शॉर्टिंग दिस शॉर्टिंग मींस अरेंजिंग थिंग्स इनटू ग्रुप्स सो वी विल मेक groups of different things and these groups are make or we make these groups on the basis of certain properties of the material so before that we have to see that what things are made up of so if students will see that what things are made up of then things are made up of different materials for example if you will consider your pencil then your pencil contain lead wood etc so these are the materials which we are using for manufacturing pencil in this way different things use different type of materials for their preparation if you will see a utensil then they are generally made up of metals so in this way beta different things are made up of different materials if you will see knife then knife is made up of steel and wood or in place of wood we can also use plastic so from this example we came to know that a same material or a same substance can be made up of different materials so let us take another examples in this category if you will see utensils then these utensils are generally made up of steel they can be of copper so in this way they can be made up of different materials if you will see a bowl then a bowl can be made by steel iron plastic glass etc so a uh, one substance or a one thing can be made up of different materials in next we will see that a same material can be used for example let us consider steel this steel can be used to prepare different items example utensils knife car building etc in this way a single material can be used to prepare different items so beta this is all about what things are made up of then now we will see that how we will decide that what material we can use for making a item so your next heading is how we can decide material for preparing a item so 
the type of material used for preparing an item depends on number one the use of item means for what purpose we are making an item Let us consider the example for this. Example. If we want to make a hammer, then hammer can be made from, we can make from iron. Because this hammer should be hard and iron is hard. This hammer is used for beating purpose so it should be hard and iron is hard in nature so we can use iron for preparing our hammer the second property is the property of material that what are the properties of materials they will also decide that what type of material we can make from them so in this way beta the use of item and the property of material affect our decision that what type of material we can use for preparing certain item so beta now we will see that how all the materials are alike. If we will see that all the materials present in our surroundings, then all the materials are having certain properties. So how materials are alike. If we will see materials around us, then all materials are having <coughs> two properties. What are these two properties? First is all the materials. have mass what is mass the matter present in it is known as mass second property that all materials have is all materials occupy space and this the space occupied by a material is known as material surrounding us is having mass and occupy a space so on the basis of this we can define matter so what is matter Matter can be defined as anything that occupy space and has mass.
mass is known as matter. We call that thing as matter. So on the basis of this property, the things that occupy space, first thing is space and second thing is mass. On the basis of things, all things can be divided into two groups. First is data matter and second is data not matter. So the things coming under first category is all the things for example your pencil, car, air, each and everything surrounding us comes under matter. But there are certain things that doesn't occupy space and doesn't have mass that come under the category that, that, that they are not matter. Examples of such thing are love, hate, then light. These are the examples that are not matter. So on the basis of space and mass, that whether a thing occupies space and has mass, things are divided into two that are matter and that are not matter. Then what this matter is <coughs> made up of means now we will discuss that how this matter is formed. So next heading is how matter is formed. John Dalton said that matter is made up of atoms. So this atom is the it is the, the smallest unit of matter. For example, if we will see iron, then the smallest unit of iron is iron atom. If we will see gold, then the smallest unit of gold is gold atom. So in this way, whatever thing, whatever matter is, the smallest unit of matter is atom. So beta, these all pure substances, the pure substances that are made up of only single type of atoms are known as elements. My dear students, till now One hundred eighteen elements. How much? One hundred eighteen elements are discovered. Out of these one hundred eighteen, 
92 are natural means they are found in nature and remaining 26 are man made so we will see the examples of some element you have to learn these names examples of element examples of element are hydrogen sodium oxygen nitrogen mercury boron helium chlorine iodine <coughs> carbon these all are the examples of elements so beta these elements are made up of only single type of atoms so they are pure but other than these elements there are certain things in which the smallest unit is not matter so there are certain things certain materials that are not having atom is their smallest unit example is beta water if you will see water then formula of water is H2 it is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen so two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen combined to form water in this case beta atoms combined to form molecules So, this is a molecule of water. So, in this way, these are the substances. In these substances, molecule is the smallest. And these substances are known as these substances are known as compounds. We call these substances as compounds. So students, there are certain cases when two entirely different type of atoms combine to form different materials. Means the substance or the material formed by these atoms is entirely different in their property than the properties of atom. For this also you can take the example of water 
if you will see this water then in the case of water hydrogen is gas then oxygen is gas but if you see this water it is liquid so it is having entirely different property from the atoms second thing if you will see then this hydrogen can undergo combustion this oxygen favor combustion but this water doesn't favor combustion it doesn't undergo combustion moreover it extinguishes fire so this this compound is having entirely different property from the properties of its atom if you will see the next example then there is a compound NaCl if you see this NaCl then this is sodium Na is symbol of sodium and Cl is symbol of chlorine if you see this sodium it is poisonous in nature so beta this chlorine is also poisonous in nature but if you see this nacl then nacl is not poisonous why it is not poisonous because this nacl is salt which we eat in our daily life it is table salt so it is not poisonous we are eating daily in our life in food we are taking this nacl so this compounds can have diff entirely different properties than the properties of atom so beta now we will see classification okay, what is classification if you see this classification then it is the process of grouping things on the basis of this is known as classification if you make group of certain things on the basis of certain properties then this is known as classification for example if you want to classify the things around you then you can classify it by taking a certain basis let us understand it with the help of a example that on the basis of it is a very important thing for classification we have to take certain basis this basis is property of the things which we are classifying so on the basis of the state of living things are of two types living things non living things example plants animals 
these are the examples of living things. On the other hand, if we will see non-living things, then pen, pencil, table, all these are non-living things. Means they doesn't have a state of living or they doesn't have life. So we have taken a basis that whether a thing is having life or not on the basis of they are of two types living things and non-living things. We can see this with our we can understood it with some other example also. For example, <coughs> we can take the next basis. On the basis of source, again things are of two types, natural thing man-made. So what are these natural which exist? which persist by nature itself and what are these man-made things which are made by men so example of natural thing is wood mountain river these all are natural but if you will see the man-made then car buildings these all are man made so in this way we can classify things on the basis of source so we can consider different basis to classify the things around us then if we will further proceed then we can see that we can further classify the things for example if we will see the classification on the basis of a state of living. So, on the basis of a state of living, things are of two types. We had already done it. These are living things. No living things. Then living things we can classify into two. Plants, animals. Animals can be further classified into Fishes, amphibians, reptiles, mammals. So, in this way, animals can be further classified. What are amphibians? animals which live on land and water. What are reptiles? Those animals which crawl on land. And what are mammals? Those animals which have memory glands. So in this way, beta, animals can be further classified. So, my dear students, here we are considering certain property of metal for classifying them. So students, each and every material
around us. Has certain property. So we can say that we are studying the properties of material. So each and every material around us has certain properties. What are these properties? These properties are they can have different color. They can have different shape. They can have different size. They can have different texture. In this way, all the materials which are present around us are having different properties so students the property of material depend on the material by which they are made of Again, this property will also decide, it also decide that what materials we can prepare by them. So in this way, beta. These are the properties of material. We will further proceed with these properties of material in our next video. So, thank you all of you.